Hello and welcome to my new lecture. Okay, so in the previous lecture, we studied about uh, industry and commerce and trade. Okay, in this lecture, we are going to uh, cover various topics which include objectives of business, business risks, nature of business risks, and certain factors that need to be considered while selecting a business enterprise. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, let's begin with the very first topic which is objectives of business. Okay. So, objectives are a very important part of business, which means every business organization has uh, has set some objective or every business organization sets a goal to be achieved. Okay. Now, these objectives can be social objective, human objective, national objective and the most important one, economic objective. Okay. Why is economic objective the most important one? Because the most important objective of a business organization is to earn profits. Which means earning profits is one of the most integral economic objective of a business organization. Okay, so all business organizations aim at attaining profits, aim at earning profits. Okay, now like food is important for the survival of human beings, profit is very important for the survival of business organizations. So this is why earning profits is one of the most important objective of business. Okay, so then we have innovation innovation you know business is the organ of dynamism and change okay so okay so innovation means what is innovation innovation means creating new ideas creating new technologies designs okay or improvising old technologies improvising new uh, designs and so on okay improved techniques and so on so innovation plays a very important role in business okay and innovation is actually one of the most important uh, objective of business <clears throat> okay okay then we have another objective of business which is uh, creating customers okay C creating customers is a very important objective of business because customers are actually considered the god considered uh, as god in business okay so customers play a very integral part in business which means without customers it is very difficult for the business to survive okay so customers are what uh, what keeps the business alive okay then we have social objectives social objectives include uh, providing uh, <clears throat> quality goods at reasonable prices or uh, focusing on the welfare okay the social welfare or focusing on the welfare of the employees of the organization promoting uh, employment <coughs> employment generation is also a very important part then uh, paying government dues all government taxes and dues okay so all these are part of social objectives. Then we have human objectives like promoting labor welfare and so on. Then optimum utilization of resources is also a very important objective of business organization, which means whatever resources business is using, all those resources must be used uh, at its okay to its best. Okay, it must not be wasted. Okay. Then we have uh, okay. So this is all about objectives of business. Then we have business risks. Now what are business risks? Business risks, which means, okay, I've already told you that business uh, uh, consists of uh, various kinds of risks, okay. These risks can be speculative risks or pure risks. Speculative risks refer to those kinds of risks that involve both profit that actually consist of chances of profits as well as losses. For example, change in technologies or change in fashion and so on. And pure risk are pure risks refer to those kind of risks that only okay that have only uh, that have prospects of losses only so this is the difference between speculative and pure risks and business is accustomed to both both kind of risks okay now uh, we will study about the nature of business risk so business risks are uh, very essential uh, to business organization okay and uh, business risks are actually you know it, you have heard about uh, the proverb no pains no gains similarly uh, profit is actually the reward for the risk for the risk that uh, is undertaken by the business men profit is the reward okay profit arises due to uncertainty we all know that okay risk can be of various kinds risk can arise due to various factors technological factors human factors economic factors political factors natural factors and so more okay so to cover these risks <coughs> businessmen also take various uh, steps to cover these risks okay 
then uh, okay so business risk what are uh, business risk as i already told you so that business okay the profit which is the main motivation which is the main income of businessmen is at stake okay it is not fixed it is at stake okay why because business consists of various kinds of risks okay now business risks are very essential to a business okay very essential part of business okay which means it is a uh, businessmen are very very uh, prone to experiencing various kinds of risk okay so this is all about business risk and the nature of business risks now let's move on to the kinds of okay or let's say causes causes of risks okay so the first is natural causes now what are natural causes natural causes are those causes of uh, uh, risks which are uncontrollable factors which are uncontrollable factors which means those factors which are not in the hands of businessmen okay natural causes include natural calamities flood floods theft okay fire or uh, any kind of natural calamities all these kinds of risks are covered under natural causes then we have human causes human causes can be carelessness of an employee management inefficiency conflicts strikes lockouts okay uh, riots and so more so all these are human causes which means all these causes all these risks are okay are given birth by humans itself then we have economic causes means various kinds of technological changes okay and so more for example money at times uh, you know uh, due to changes in preference and uh, tastes of uh, consumers uh, goods and goods become <clears throat> obsolete okay so these all uh, all such kinds of uh, risks fall in the category of economic causes okay then we have other causes other causes may include political factors or other economic factors or uh, okay factors of risk that that are, give birth to risks okay then we have starting a business enterprise which mean factors to be considered before starting a business enterprise okay now the first uh, thing that need to be considered the first factor that need to be considered before starting a business enterprise is selection and type of business which means the type of business which kind of business to start okay so which kind of business okay now obviously every businessman will uh, will make attempts to choose a kind of business that has a possibility of greater amounts of profit that has a possibility of generating greater amounts of profits okay so accordingly businessmen choose such kind of okay such kind of business then we have size of business size of business is obviously one of the most important criteria before uh, choosing before starting a business size of business is another important factor that need to that needs to be considered okay size depends upon the kind of business also which means uh, that it depends that which kind of kind of business is chosen and uh, okay size also has a uh, size is actually interlinked with the type of business okay size is also interlinked with the amount of capital a businessman is ready to invest in the business okay then we have location of business location of business plays a very integral role again why because okay uh, it depends that uh, it depends it entirely depends location also entirely depends upon the demand of that product or service in that particular location now if proper if location is not chosen okay by proper research then uh, it costs business okay considerably so location okay choosing location is a very very important factor that needs to be considered before starting a business okay because location must be very appropriate then we have finance finance means all those capital which is invested in the business so that entirely depends upon the businessman uh, and his potential okay and his ability to <clears throat> invest capital okay so financial all the financial needs working capital needs or fixed capital needs all those financial needs must be considered must be considered beforehand then we have physical facilities now a businessman must ensure that all the physical facilities required to start a business must be available on time okay always then we have workforce now every business organization expects expects that the workforce that it has or the management okay uh, that it has or uh, that must be very competent very efficient workforce okay so a businessman must ensure that the workforce that it has must be very very efficient must be very very productive and competent then we have tax planning now before uh, starting a business uh, a businessman must always evaluate the tax liability or ascertain the tax 
okay whether he is able to whether he'll be able to uh, afford the tax whether he'll be able to pay the uh, tax which is okay which is tax which is due in that kind of business then we have launching now after all these factors have been considered have been taken into consideration and all these factors have been uh, satisfied okay all these factors have been fulfilled okay the businessman can eventually launch the business the business enterprise okay and then the business can be started okay uh, so i hope it is clear uh, let's take a quick uh, revision okay objectives of business as i already told you all business organizations have got an objective and all the individuals involved in the organization work towards the attainment of those objectives okay objectives can be human objectives social objectives economic objectives or national objectives some of the objectives are uh, earning profits then social welfare payment of government dues social responsibility uh, providing quality goods at reasonable prices optimum utilization of resources employment generation productivity physical facilities okay and so more now business risks business ri is always accustomed to various kinds of risk risk can be speculative or it can be pure risk okay speculative risk have chances of both profits and losses okay for example change in technology and fashion but pure risks have only chances of losses okay for example uh, natural calamities okay and so more then uh, okay uh, then we have uh, okay yeah so uh, then we have nature of risks which means risk is a risk is very essential to business organization okay uh, risk arises due to uncertainty okay uncertainty and profit is the reward for risk okay which means after which which means that businessmen because they undertake a lot of risk okay they put uh, 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 they put their business at stake okay the profit is the incentive or the motivation behind this risk taking okay then we have causes of risks natural causes include all these natural factors okay natural calamities okay due to which risk uh, can arise then we have human causes all those causes which are uh, which are which arise due to human beings for example carelessness of an employee lockout strikes riots management inefficiency and so more then we have economic causes which means changes in fashion and technology changes in taste and preferences then goods becoming obsolete okay and so more or economic uh, changes other economic changes that take place okay all these fall into the category of economic causes then we have other causes which cover other political and other unexpected okay and other unexpected causes with okay? me okay then uh, starting a business which means factors to be considered before starting a business we have selection and type of business which means it entirely depends upon the businessman which kind of business to choose okay which type of business to choose now business you know uh, can be of various kinds it can be of various sizes okay if we talk about size it can be a sole proprietorship form of business it can be a partnership form of business it can be a joint stock company form of business so this entirely depends upon the businessman and his efficiency and his potential to invest capital which kind of which size and which type of business to choose okay in the case of choosing the type usually businessmen prefer those uh, types of business that uh, has a possibility of great uh, generating greater amounts of profits greater amount of income size i already told you that <clears throat> Uh, it depends upon the type of business okay if it is a manufacturing concern or a producing concern it needs to be a comparatively bigger form of business okay if it is another if it is some other uh, kind of business small form of business so the uh, businessman will prefer uh, keeping the size of business very okay small or medium size of business okay then we have location location plays a very important role because uh, it needs to be ascertained before starting a business that whatever business is being started in that location in that particular area whether that business is actually required in that area or whether the goods that are produced in that area are required in that area so there are multiple factors okay there are multiple reasons why location of business need to be considered before starting a business okay so location plays a very important role and if the location is not chosen in a proper way it can lead to very high cost of production okay very high cost of production and so more okay and then we have finance all these okay finance means all the capital which is required to be invested in business now finance is very important because in the uh, before starting the business a businessman must ascertain whether the business the kind of business he or she has chosen chosen to start whether <clears throat> 
he has the potential to invest adequate amount of capital okay in that business or not physical facilities <coughs> play a very important role all the uh, phys all okay all the uh, all the uh, facilities which are required in the business must be considered beforehand whether all the facilities okay can be uh, fulfilled all the facilities can be okay fulfilled on time by the businessman all these things must be considered competent and efficient workforce is expected competent and work efficient workforce and management is very very important then we have tax planning which means a businessman must ascertain and evaluate his tax liability before starting a business and he must check his efficiency and potential whether he uh, can okay he's uh, he has the potential or ability to pay that amount of tax or not then we have launching which means after considering all these factors after taking into consideration all these factors okay the businessman can eventually launch the business which means commence the business and okay and perform the business okay so that's all about today's lecture i hope you understood thank you